in this video i will cover the arc flux analysis for the arc flux analysis study using etap software the electrode configuration of switch gears and bus bars and what are the impacts of changing the electrode configuration uh, in the incident energy during arc flux analysis so in the previous video i have discussed about this arc plus simulation analysis errors in details if you meet if you miss this one you can check out that video so let's quickly go to um, that electrode configuration suppose for this bus for this bus go to this rating tab here so under this rating tab you can see here this enclosure editor go to the enclosure editor so for this switchboard lb2 bus a and lb2 bus b so it is already assigned here how it is assigned let's delete i will show you how to do, do that okay so nothing is here so you can select from the drop down list whether this bus only or the bus and protection bus and protective device if you want to include the protective device also that means circuit breaker connecting circuit breaker or fuse conductor you can you can select this one and for the time being i will select only this bus only and add this if you add this then you can see this is the electrode configuration here is the vcb by default vcb vcbb and hcb so what are these electrode configurations and what are the impacts of the electrode configuration in the arc plus analysis i will discuss in detail in this video so there are three options vcb vcbb and hcb actually this uh, if you consider this vcb then incident energy whatever incident uh, energy will come if you consider this vcbb the incident energy will be higher than vcb and if you select this hcb this this is horizontal horizontal configuration if you select this hcb then the incident energy will be much more higher than this vcbb as well as this vcb so first of all let's understand what are the vcb vcbb and hcb so let's understand this okay so here here is the diagram here is the diagram so this is this is vcb you can see for this uh, configuration this conducting path this is in vertical position vertical position but uh, it is terminating inside this box inside this uh, switch gear uh, covered panel box where where there is the where there is a insulating barrier and if this vcbb is used this is vcbb so in this case this uh, this live part this live part this bus configuration this will continue up to this uh, bottom of this box bottom of this box and if the configuration is hcb this is the horizontal so previous two these are vertical configuration and this is horizontal suppose main bus bar whenever this main bus bar is running throughout the panel uh, switch gear panel bus a and bus b the horizontal configuration is there so for the bus we can consider as hcb because the incident energy the arcing arcing uh, that uh, plasma will will come out and it may be more much more dangerous than this vcb or 
VCBB. So this is the concept. So VCB and VCBB, these two are the vertical configuration and this HCB is the horizontal bus configuration. Let us go back to this enclosure editor. Enclosure editor, go to our rating page here, enclosure editor and here this is the VCB. This is VCB and uh, here some more parameters we need to define. This is the eta by default value. This is the this is the height, height, width, and depth. If you have the project specific data, that means panel GA drawing, then you can you can uh, change this one. You can customize this. This is a height, width, and depth for this particular bus from the manufacturer GA drawing. You can update. So these are eta default value. I am using it. So using this vcb using this vcb configuration vcb configuration let's run this let's run uh, let's run this r plus once again we are we are experimenting on this lb2 bus a particularly this bus a so here level d incident energy is 21 0.218 calorie per square centimeter and <coughs> this is R plus boundary 2.7 so level D AFV is 2.757 meter incident energy is 21.218 now let's quickly go to the enclosure editor enclosure editor and change this VCB to VCBB no other changes I have made now let's run once again let's see what are the impact of changing this bus configuration yeah you can see previously it was level D it was level D now this is level E AFP 2.754 meter incident energy previously it was 21.218 and now incident energy is coming 30.944 calorie per square, square centimeter so this is increased considerably increased now let's once again change the configuration bus bar configuration as hcb if we change hcb and rerun so this was Considering VCBB configuration, this was level E and IE 30.944 and now I have changed in uh, to horizontal configuration that means HCB and I am simulating once again. Let's see. Yeah, now it is further increased to level F, level F, arc plus boundary 2.583 meter and this is the incident energy. 40.431 so previously it was it was 30 it was 30.94 calorie per square centimeter and now it is coming 40.431 calorie per square centimeter which is which is much much more this is on the higher side this is on the higher side so we need to we need to mitigate uh, this one either this fault clearing time will be uh, reduced or the relationship coordination can be changed can be modified so what I what I mean to say whenever you are whenever you are changing this configuration this enclosure enclosure editor enclosure this electrode configuration based on this electrode configuration the energy that incident energy will be changed and accordingly the PP level will be changed so this should not be this this uh, nobody should forget uh, to verify what a, wh what is the actual con actual electrode configuration of that particular switchboard or that particular bus bar so that the actual actual energy actual incident energy or the PPE level can be determined so we need to get we need to get some information some data from the OEM 
from the panel manufacturer so that accurately accurately the arc class analysis study can be performed so in this video up to this and in the next video i will uh, show you how to generate level arc plus arc plus level i will cover in the next video